Welcome to video 18 on Train Controller 10 Gold. Suppose you have a multi-track station or an industry area and you would like to drive trains into specific tracks or have a certain sequence. How can that be done? Uh, maybe you like to use track 1 first and then the next train to go to track 2 and the next to 3 and so forth. Or maybe uh, you like to allocate specific tracks for specific trains. Or maybe uh, you like to involve train length into the track or block selection. Let's have a look how we can do this. Let's have a look at this industry area Bletchley that contains four tracks which can be reached from station Bedford and can also be reached from the Bletchley siding. Uh, normally uh, these schedules will now select a block randomly. If you don't take additional measures you don't know where your train will go. It's for starters always a good thing to take care that uh, the trains all fit in the blocks and suppose that we have one or two trains that are too long for a couple of these blocks yeah we want to take care that they still select only the blocks where they fit to do that uh, we go to the rules of the uh, schedule uh, so let's click properties and here inside the rules we go uh, on the lookout for train length and open that up and here we find trains must fit in destination blocks well let's place a tick mark there and you might also like a tick mark at prefer the shortest destination block that's not necessary but it can be a nice that the the trains uh, always select the shortest block where they still fit okay let's click ok and then do what else we need to do which is over here uh, at the train uh, section we have to give our trains the proper length so let me double click this engine and look over here uh, I have put the length of the train here in the length field and um, that is of course necessary if you are going to work with train lengths and yeah then we have to give these blocks a length so let's go over there and click OK let's go into the blocks right here double click a block and in the general top over here with train length we can enter the maximum allowed length of the train for this block and also of course uh, we have to take care that our stop position is such that there is no conflict there uh, this is how you can uh, create situation where the train length is taken into account for the block selection another option could be that we want to allocate specific blocks to specific trains allow only certain trains in a block uh, that can be done inside the blocks itself uh, it is independent of the schedule so I can double click this block Bletchley 1 go to the trains tab and then over here to the vehicles and then uh, suppose I want this block only for the blue cargo train number 36 and then click OK uh, now this block will only allow for that specific train but because the other blocks are still empty they allow for all trains uh, if I don't want uh, the 36 to go over there well then best uh, I select other trains for these other blocks so let's just do that uh, I have here you can also uh, allow uh, multiple trains of course I can say that all the counterclockwise trains are allowed in block 3 and also in block 4 why not uh, 
this is the way how you can... Oh, that is not uh, the correct train in Intercity, only the cargo trains. The counterclockwise cargo trains are all allowed in block 3 and 4. That is what I have accomplished right now. Well, this is super easy, isn't it? Uh, it's less random, but you know exactly where a certain locomotive will go. A third possibility is, for instance, uh, often used in shadow stations, uh, that you like to go the first train to the track 1, and then the next train that comes in should always go to track 2, the next train always to track 3, and so on. That can be done by putting a condition in the blocks. Block 1 does not need a condition, because that's always the starting block, but block 2, we are going to say that it is not available uh, unless block 1 is reserved. Uh, so now let's go to the condition tab. Uh, what I have done here is uh, go to the blocks, find block Bletchley 1, where is it? Oh, with the uh, top, Bletchley 1. I added it uh, over there and I selected from this list that it must be reserved, which now means block 2 has this condition that it is only available for trains if Bletchley 1 is already reserved. That is what we have accomplished now. And let's have a look at Bletchley 3. The condition in there is that Bletchley 3 is only available to accept a train if Bletchley 1 and 2 are both already reserved. And to no surprise, block number 4 has the condition that all the previous blocks must be reserved and only then a train will go to block 4. Um, so this is the condition that we use to make this block available for a train. And Bletchley 1 is always available. It has no condition. Let's see in practice that this really works. We have a train ready for departure here in Bletchley siding. Let me start this schedule. And look what happens, it's selected here to go to block number 1. Uh, if I let this train drive, we will see that it will really reach block number 1. Uh, let me now also start uh, the Bedford schedule, and let's see if that goes to block number 2. Uh, yeah, it will, but it cannot yet start to drive because the other train has not yet reached uh, its destination and the track is still occupied, but the schedule has already started. So now all we have to do is wait for this train to uh, free up all these uh, turnouts over here. Yeah, now the train starts. And look what happens, it neatly goes to track number 2. And I hope you will believe me on my blue, oh actually brown eyes, that if I would start another train, that also that sequence to go to next block 3 and then block 4 really works. Well, this was it and maybe see you back in the next video and until then, have fun!